I guess they just threw it on in. Ooh, that is kind of chilling. Oh my god, you guys, I literally just dropped the GoPro on the ground so hard. It was really dramatic. I'm going to the Temple of Heaven now. Hello, how are you? I'm doing this in a very strange order. Um, it is somewhat windy outside today. I don't know if you can tell. There's been like trash flying all over the place, so uh, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna bike to Sen Yuan Chiao on Eric's bike, which is actually like a little bit broken, so we'll see how that goes. This is the bike I'm riding. Do you see that freaking seat? Yeah, but luckily I'm not riding it very far. Oh my god, that was like the roughest bike ride ever. My quads are burning. I'm gonna get on the subway now. I survived, and that's what's important, right? Okay, are these not the coolest ceilings ever, you guys? Okay, so I believe to go to the Temple of Heaven, you take the Tian Tan uh, East Road Station stop. Tian Tan that's there this morning, and he said he's pretty sure that is just referring to the Temple of Heaven. So it was really easy to find. I got off at uh, exit 82 because 81 was closed, and then I just did a complete U-turn. And it looks like I made it. Just follow your instincts. They're usually right. I heard this place is actually bigger than the Forbidden City. I was going to go and just get the like regular admission ticket, which is 15 Kwai. And I decided, you know what? Why don't we splurge? Let's spend the 34 Kwai while we're here. And uh, let's go to everything. So I got the through ticket, which is 34 Kwai. So we'll see if it's worth it. I'll let you guys know. It's kind of cool. I'll be able to see all the inside stuff. So that's great. Let's do it. One of my favorite things about going to these sites is the old, old trees that are here. And I see one beauty in particular that I'm obsessed with. It's this one right here. This is gorgeous. You guys. I'm a tree freak. I love trees. That smells really good, by the way, too. And I'm kind of cold. It's weird. The weather changed, like, all of a sudden here in Beijing. You know how much I love a good, creepy, sacrificial altar. There are so many big trees around here, but it smells like Christmas. It smells great. I'm walking up to one of the like attractions that I think I get entered to with this ticket, so we'll see how it is. It is cheaper if you do go ahead and just get the free ticket than it is to like buy to the big place, by the way. Just do it. Just get this one. Get the, uh, get the full on free ticket because this is worth it. This is really beautiful. Is this what it's like? So this is mountains in the sky and like birds and phoenix. I'm gonna guess these are phoenix in the heavens basically. And dragons of course are up in the heavens because dragons are the son of God. If you want to get up here, you literally have to push your way in. This is, I think, the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvest. So one of my least favorite parts of China, tour groups. Oh, I despise tour groups. that ancient drainage system that they used at the Forbidden City. These dragons have openings right here and so basically um, if there's any kind of flood these would just be like spewing water and uh, you can see there's more down here and the entrance is right there. So 
this is like the old drainage system and uh, there's been some flooding oh my gosh so much wind there's been some flooding recently in China and they said like these old sites um, with their ancient drainage systems are doing better than the modern drainage system so there's something to be said about these stone dragons so down here these are the heavens this is like you know the sky wind clouds these are the heavens and then one step up I don't know if you can see that very well but um those are birds so I'm assuming they're phoenixes because phoenix live in the heavens and then above that are the dragons so there's a like there's an order to um like which one is more important let's check out this giant building this is interesting so the blue represents heaven the yellow represents earth and green represents the mortal world what's the difference between earth and the mortal world this particular building was built in uh, 1545 and then reconstructed in 1751. There's a lot of number stuff though. There's four pillars symbolizing the four seasons. So this is like an ancient architectural style based on like the numerology of uh, the world basically. It's pretty sweet. I keep seeing women posing with their scarves. Is this a thing? I don't understand. I want that in my house someday. I don't know, his expression is just really, really gangster. We don't train those tour groups, but in the last two minutes that I walked into this hallway because there's a tour group in here, I've had two, at least two people take pictures of me when they thought I wasn't looking, like just snap a picture. I'm like, what are you doing with those pictures? And then um, someone just rammed straight into me. I'm like, this is a pretty empty area. There's plenty of room. Why are you ramming straight into me? I don't know. They just groups drive me crazy. So this is the old sacrificial hall and then uh, this is the evolution of it. I think I finally found the part where they actually burned the stuff and uh, of course no one's over here because it's not as pretty as the big building. I think those pots are where they like actually destroyed the animals and then this is where they like left the remains but let's see. So they washed and shaved the calf Wow, that's so crazy. So they had to walk a calf up these like glazed stairs to the top. I guess they just threw it on in. Ooh, that is kind of chilling. So that's the creepy sacrificial altar that I've been looking for. It's a big oven, basically. It's a glazed oven. This is where they put the uh, hair and uh, blood of the animal. So they washed and shaved the calf and then it sounds like they burned them with like pine needles and stuff in here. And then my best guess is that they put all the hair and the blood in that thing and then actually like burned and destroyed the calves for the offerings in these eight things. And I'm gonna guess these aren't the originals. I mean that'd be sweet if they were but I kind of doubt it. Although it is kind of cool that this looks like there's like all these like singe stuff. Crazy. And of course there's freaking no one around here. Why am I the only one looking at the actual like sacrificial area? Is it too creepy for people? Look at that big old dragon. He looks like he's gonna like bust out of that. And the middle is shut off because only like deities and emperors can like enter and exit through the middle gate. I think Tiananmen Square is different just because it's so freaking crowded all the time. But I want to show you one thing that's really unique about this place is this roof thing. This little bloop 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 I don't know what to call it the cutout kind of a design I haven't ever seen that before in China so that's kind of cool of course they have the costume photography here duh they have to you have to stand in front of like a fake throne or something in like an emperor outfit no matter how long you've lived in China when you are a foreigner and you come to a tourist site there will be people who have never seen foreigners before or just very rarely and you get the like the double take all the time and you get the uh, random pictures taken of you and then you get people staring that's one thing I will not really miss too much about China but I'm thinking it might freak me out when I go back to the US to be like why is no one looking at me This is the tree I've been looking for. It's the Nine Dragon Cypress. When does these trees get jealous because the other one's getting all the attention?
This is called the echo wall, so people are just yelling at each other. This is hilarious. People don't do that at US tourist sites, so I was just not used to it when I first came to China, but now I'm just like, okay, I guess this is happening. But this is freaking hilarious. There's just tons of people yelling at each other into the wall. It's just super loud. Because apparently, if you stand on opposite ends, you can hear each other. If you're yelling into the wall, you can have a clear conversation. It says it makes for wonderful conversations. One of the problems of traveling solo, you have no one to yell at. It's a little bit alarming because there's just people like yelling at each other and screaming. I don't think it actually works because there's too many people here. I don't know, maybe it works. I'm not sure. I don't see anyone like amazed at how it's working or anything. They're just yelling. And you can hear each other because you're freaking yelling. And it's not that big of an area. So this over here is called the Circular Mound. Oh, Circular Mound, excuse me. Circular Mound Altar. Oh, a creepy altar, yes. There's so much room for activities. No, but seriously, I think this is some kind of creepy altar, so let's do it. The ground here is so uneven because it's like old stone. Ants, there's something important in the middle. They're all trying to stand on it. What the heck am I looking at right now? <laughs> there's some stone that everyone's trying to step on. It's a heavenly center stone. That's what everyone's stepping on. If one speaks standing on the heavenly center stone, their voice will be particularly resonant and sonorous. That's why everyone's going on the stone and then saying something. They just yell. This is Chinese tourism at its finest, you guys. This is beautiful. Okay, so I'm looking at a map right now. This is how I came in. So I came in through the East Gate, and then I went to, I believe, the Imperial Hall of Heaven. I saw the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvest. I went down this uh, long walkway to the Imperial Vault, Echo Wall, Circular Mound. Now what I want to go check out is the ancient cypress woods. Okay, I'm into this. My feet are kind of hurting now, so because of all the freaking stone everywhere. Like these shoes are great, but at a certain point your feet just hurt. That's the way it is. I learned that from working retail. It's a really awesome place here though. I definitely recommend coming here. It's beautiful. Even though there's gates preventing me, I'm just trying to like listen to the quiet and the wind go through the trees. Because I grew up next to forest land, like I grew up always going to the forest. So I have been really, really missing that since I've been in China. So I'm walking away from the tourist groups and into the woods. No, not really, but it's nice to savor these moments when you get them in China, like moments away from the crowd in a place that's like, listen. That's quiet, that's very quiet. There's another Chinese squirrel. That's the second squirrel I've seen in China. Ni hao, xiao peng yo. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take these routes and go through the woods, but I'm doing so good. Hello trees, I've missed you. How are you doing with the pollution? Is it hard to breathe? Are you doing okay? I'm really curious about how many trees there are in this place because there's clearly a lot and I love it. It's probably my favorite part about this is the trees. 
Dude, this used to be a moat. You know how I feel about moats. I love moats. The Palace of Abstinence. Nice. I'm pretty used to exercise abstinence from meat, drink, music, women, and dealing with state affairs. Mm. So I think the Fasting Palace is actually an extra ticket. I'm not sure how much it costs. This is called the 100 Flower Garden because there's only 100 flowers here. I think I'm done. This place is really beautiful. Uh, you could spend a long time here, but I really, really wish they had like bike rentals inside here. Okay, this is super pretty and smells really nice. I recommend the Rose Garden over the 100 Flower Garden. Bet you a million dollars I can find a Chinese woman posing for a photo with one. It's like this classic pose that women around here do, where they like pretend to be smelling a flower, but they like look in the distance. They look super unnatural, but they're always doing that shot. Cracks me up. What's happening? Hello, old friends. I love Fern. All right, so now I'm at the back of, um, what is it? The Heavenly Temple of Prayer for a Good Harvest? I don't know, it's a really long name. I'm at the back of it right now. Um, and I'm gonna exit through the North Gate. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys here. I definitely recommend you come here if you're in Beijing. All the links to everything you could ever want in life are down below. <laughs> and uh, I will talk to you very soon. Okay, bye.